much. Oh, what's that? So this, they've always questioned that. Right above this tooth, there's a hole in my bone. Yeah. And I don't recall... It's been there a long time? Yeah. Always been there. Okay. So they think it's like a cyst or something. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. And they said it could have been an accident, you know, maybe when I was younger. Oh, when we were kids, we fall down and land yeah. on our face. And... and I had overbite, so this tooth always was like the first thing to hit. Oh, you know, okay. Cut my lip and... and that's the same thing I'm seeing here? Yeah. Just not quite as obvious. Yeah. They're using different kinds of x-ray technology, light, right. that is detailed. Well, you know, the truth is with x rays sometimes we see unusual things, but if they're stable, they say, well, it's just unusual. Yeah. That's okay. But you can see there's like no bone on these teeth. Yeah, so that's the jaw bone itself moving yeah. away from the tooth surface. Right. Yeah. So it's kind of like melting away. And, you know, some well, of Well, that's a good way to put it. It's literally being reabsorbed. Okay. The way the bone normally is maintained is it's imagine an old cinder block fence. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it's old. So somebody's coming around every now and again, they're poking on the blocks and they're poking on the grout between them and they're looking for any place where it's not good. And if it starts to be a little weak, they scrape it away and then they immediately put new stuff down. That's what the bone's trying to do. And normally the bone is being managed just like that. There are two kinds of cells. One that's gobbling away the old bone and one that's laying down new bone. When we see a loss of bone, what we suspect is there's an imbalance. We're taking away too much bone and not putting enough new bone down to right. replace it. Yeah. And we do want to take away old bone. That's a good thing, because it's old. Yeah. But we want to replace it. Right. All right. So we both of those things have to happen. So let's see if we can figure out why they're not happening. Bring your arms down by your side for me. Good. And push your legs apart. Good. Pull them together, and then let go. Good, let them drop, that's it. Good, let the legs drop. There we go. Good, let's have your right hand up on your low pack. Good, and then switch hands. Good, both hands up on your low back. Good, arms by your side. Pull your right hip toward the top of your head. Let it go. Left hip toward the top of your head. Let it go. Good. Right arm goes above your head. Both arms above your head. Good. Arms by your side. Turn your head to your right side. Good. Raise your right shoulder off the table. Let it go. Shrug both shoulders towards your ears. Let them go. Good. Shrug them up and roll them all the way back and down. Let them go. Good. Let's have you turn back to the middle. Face down. Turn face down to the right. Shrug your shoulders up, roll them all the way back and down. There you go. Big circle. There we go. Push your nose over to the right side of the table. Good. Back to where you were. Turn face down.
turn your head to your right side. Push your nose to the right side of the table. Back to where you were. There we go. Turn face down. Good. Let's have your right arm up above your head. Good. Both arms up above your head. There we go. Arms by your side. Let's have you look up. Relax back down. Good. Now this time, uh, leave your chest resting, but just look up with your nose and then back down. Yeah, good. Back down. Okay, that's good. Tuck your chin into your chest. Let it go. Tuck your chin into your chest and let it go. That looks better. Let's have you put your right hand up on your low back. Switch hands for me. Okay, relax the arm down. Left hand up on your low back. That's good. Arms by your side. Turn your head to your left side. Back to the middle. Turn your head to the left side. There we go. Turn face down, please. Push your head straight into the table. Let it go. That looks good. Okay. I want you to bring your teeth together so that the molars are touching and their normal closed bite position. Then bite nice and firm and then let go. And turn your head to your left side. Face down. Teeth together, bite nice and firmly, and let go. There we go. All right. Now I'm going to have you turn over on your back, please. So let's see. The one that's here in the blue case, that's the soft one, right? Yes. So go ahead and put that in. Don't bite for the moment, just place it. Okay, bring this arm up, push backward. Once more, push. Okay, that's good. Let's pick a leg, so we're going to involve both hands in there. So this leg is going to come out to the side, turn the foot in, push out real strong. Good. Okay, now what I want you to do is open your jaw, push out, bite firmly, push out. Good. Take Three fingers like the Boy Scout salute, like this. Put them right over the TM joint on both sides. Come down a little bit. There, there you go. This leg, push out strong. Okay, so it's not happy. All right, so before we change anything, uh, let's see, are you biting? No, I just relaxing. Okay, keep your fingers right where they're at. Turn this, push out. Okay, I want you to open your jaw for me. Push out. Uh huh. All right. So go ahead and take the device out. Fingers go back over the jaw. Push out. 
that go. Relax your arms down by your side. So right off the bat, even without the device, we got some unhappy muscles in the jaw. Okay. So it could be that the device is fine, but the muscles aren't happy, and so we need to make them happy. Or it could be that the muscles aren't happy, and even after they're happy, the device still won't be fine. I don't know. I can't distinguish yet. For all I know is that the muscles in the jaw aren't happy. Yeah. Now that could be just because you've been clenching. So what we have to do is, this is like a puzzle box. You have to move one panel, you have to move that panel, then you can find the other panel that moves, then you right. move that panel, then you go find the third panel. Right. After six or seven panels, voila, the box opens, right? <laughs> okay. But each panel, like, why am I doing that? It's not opening the box. No, but it's allowing access to the next panel. Right. So that's how, when we're working with the jar, we have to think like that. Okay. There's no direct line to say, oh, do this, and then it's all better. We have to do this, that reveals something. Then we fix that, that reveals something. Okay. Now if you open. Good. And relax the jaws, you're not pushing too hard. There you go. Okay, so if I push here versus here, which side's worse? Both the same or one side worse? Pretty much the same. Same. Okay, I'm gonna go way out to the side. Way out here. Good. So up there versus up there. That's about the same. About the same. All right, so let me do all the work. You just relax your head, open. And what I'm going to do, James, I'm going to lift like this. Good. So your neck muscles are relaxed. There you go. Good. Leave the jaw kind of just hanging out for a moment. Breathe through your nose. There you go. Now I want you to take a breath in, hold your breath. Hold your breath. We're going to come back to the middle, push back to the table, push your head back, and breathe out as you push back. Good. More. Keep pushing. There you go. All right. Opposite side. Let me do all the work. Open. Good. There we go. Breathe normally. That's it. Good. Way out here. Good. Take a breath in. Hold your breath. We come back to the middle. Push your head backward as you breathe out. Good. Good. And relax. Now let's see what have we just accomplished. Okay. This leg comes out to the side. Point the toe in. Push out nice and strong. There we go. Three finger Boy Scout salute. Right, uh, let's come up a little bit right there. Good. Turn this foot like so. Push out. Okay. Now, this arm goes up, this arm goes down. Push backward. Good. Let the elbow bend. Push up. Very good. Bring this up, push backward, let that go. Bring this up, push backward. Okay, all right. Now, here's what I'm going to do. We're going to start like this, and I'm going to suggest that you use the more comfortable of the two devices for the time being. Mm -hmm. When I see back, I want to find out the correction we just made. Has that stayed? If so, then we'll go to the next step of evaluating the two devices and see which one's actually going to give you the best result. Okay. Okay. Come on. Okay, sounds good. Uh.